This is the River Hawk Report, UMass Lowell Men's Basketball, one win away from a Northeast 10 Conference Tournament Championship. The River Hawks, the seventh seed, punched their ticket to the final with a scintillating 80-70 victory Thursday night over the number three seed, Merrimack College, in the Warriors' own building. All year we were the hunted, and now we're a little bit of, we're, the, we're hunting. You know, it's a different animal. They were, you know, it was their home court and Bentley's home court, and we came in and we were the underdogs. And I think that's UMass Lowell hockey and basketball for years and every sport is always the, the the tough gritty underdogs and I think that's that's the position we got in late it was, we our backs were against the wall that's UMass Lowell head coach Greg Horenda a Merrimack alum the River Hawks win was a team effort with a variety of players hitting big baskets and making key plays but two players in particular turned in huge performances guard Kyle Kaola was explosive he hit for 32 points that equals his career best and underneath the basket Ari Kanan dropped in 16 points and grabbed 15 rebounds. Our kids played so hard. We, we stuck to the script, and but Ali Kanan, we went inside out, and literally it was Ali's game, and then Kaola kind of took it over. So it was that. And I've said from day one to our assistants, if our point guard plays great like Kyle has, and Ali plays great, we could be a great team. And tonight, Ali kind of just set the tone. And we had two big guys, and they had one. After the game, Kanan was on top of the world. He says the River Hawks simply wanted it more. I think this will end my career perfectly if we win the championship and us it couldn't have been a better setup leading up to this game being Bentley and being Merrimack who we lost so much in the past years so I'm I'm happy as well as the team I think we felt it the beginning of the game I think just off the bat we could tell we have more energy I feel we wanted it more than them and Kenan gave credit for his performance to the coaches I think the coaches prepared me well to do that to, to just screen and, and cut you know, we, I had a freshman on me that told me he wasn't uh, yet experienced so we just screening and dive to the basket you get open looks so it worked out for us. Again Kanan finished with 16 points and 15 boards. Kaola with his 32 points is over the 1,000 point mark in his career. 18 of the 32 came in the first half on 8 of 10 shooting. He scored 10 of the River Hawks first 12 points but he says it's all about defense. Well it started on the defensive end. If we stop them on defense we're gonna get better looks on offense and that's what basically happened. We just, we just started on defense, stayed on the glass and then we got better looks on offense. Honestly we, we came out with more bounce with more energy and then we stayed on the glass and we held them like one shot opportunities feel them to one shot opportunities is going to just open up the whole game for us and that's that's what we wanted to do and Kaola adds good defense creates good offense it, it all starts on the defensive end if we ha- if that happens then we're going to get better sh- looks better opportunities to execute the offense better and then that's when the shots start going in Kaola was also quick to deflect the credit he preferred pointing to his teammates everybody came ready to play a lot of guys did a lot of huge shots Ali was huge on the glass and and on defense, blocked a lot of shots. He was good around the rim. When everybody's making shots, it's just a lot easier. Obviously, the offense is going to execute a lot better, and everybody was making shots tonight. Again, the River Hawks were winners, 80 to 70, the final, and all of that was played out in front of a raucous UMass Lowell crowd that made this short trip to North Andover. Our crowd was awesome today. We came into this place and kind of closely took over the building, and that's what we wanted to do. And our fans were the, our fans kind of were the impetus for that whole situation happening. That's the sixth man right there. That was that was huge for us. We felt like we were in Costello. I mean. And we didn't feel like we were in Merrimack, so that was that was really huge for us to have all these people come out and support us like that. That was tremendous. The River Hawks are now 19 and 11 and host Adelphi Saturday in the Northeast 10 Conference Championship game.